Thanks to improvements in cancer screening, treatment, and prevention, survival rates are improving for many types of cancer. However, cancer is still a devastating disease, killing 10 million in 2020, so cancer treatment is increasingly more demanding than ever. Animals have long been the place scientists turn to when finding the cure for diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and so on. So how about cancer, the second leading cause of death in the world? Throughout years of research, scientists have found three animals that are virtually immune to cancer. With these findings, scientists are hoping that they could point the way towards more effective treatments for cancer in humans. Welcome to Give Effect, and you are watching Top Animals That Hardly Get Cancer with bonus surprising animal cancer facts at the end. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content, or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now let's get straight to the video, shall we? 1. Elephants Our cells replicate regularly to replace the old or damaged ones, and each new cell contains new copies that must be the same as our DNA. However, due to either genetic or external factors, like stress and aging, sometimes our genes cause errors when they replicate. Most of the time, these errors are repaired immediately and automatically by the cell. But it's not the case with cancer cells, as they can't stop the cells from growing or replicating. Hence, cancer patients develop tumors in various places. Given the fact that cell replication is required for growth and each replication comes with errors, it's logical to think that bigger organisms would be more likely to get cancer, as they would replicate cells more than smaller organisms, right? However, this is not the case with elephants. While 1 in 5 people develop cancer, it's only 1 in 20 elephants that get this disease, although they have 100 times more cells than humans, and their life expectancy is comparable to ours as well. As much as this finding excites us, a group of researchers began looking closer and found a particular gene called P53 to be some 20 times more common in elephants than in humans. P53 functions as a gene that detects and repairs damaged DNA, so it is key in holding the spread of cancer, and humans only have one version of this gene. The elephants might seem genetically over-endowed with having multiple versions of P53, allowing them to have a much wider range of molecular anti-cancer interactions than humans. As the scientists trace back the elephant's family, they found that elephants have developed more P53 genes as they have evolved partly to protect their young born to elder mothers. This intricate and intriguing finding is an exciting prospect for further research into activating P53 and targeted drug therapies in humans. 2. Naked Mole Rats If you are already surprised by the elephant's ability to hold cancer cells, get ready for naked mole rats because they are even more miraculous. They never develop cancer. Naked mole rats are burrowing rodents that mainly live in East Africa. They can live for up to 37 years, and so far, they are hot topics among researchers, as they have many unusual traits, such as they don't feel pain, they can live with very low levels of oxygen, and they are the only cold-blooded mammals in the animal kingdom. Speaking of cancer, they are highly cancer-resistant, with only a few cases ever observed to have cancer but they were all captive animals. In the past, researchers suggested that they have a cancer resistance mechanism in each and every cell, so they don't get the disease even if researchers induced it artificially in them. However, recent research at the University of Cambridge has shown that for the first time, the genes known to cause cancer in cells of other rodents can also lead naked mole rat cells to become cancerous. Unlike the previously thought theory that the cells themselves can stop cancer, these researchers suggest that the complex system of the naked mole rat cells and molecules surrounding a cell, including the immune system, are what stop cancer from developing into tumors in the first stages. To test this theory, researchers analyzed 79 different cell lines grown from 11 different naked mole rats' intestines, kidneys, pancreas, lungs, and skins. Then, they infected the cells with genes that are known to cause cancers in other rodents, but not naked mole rats. They also injected these cells into mice for comparison. To their surprise, 
the cancerous genes began to be replicated by the naked mole rat cells at an accelerated growth rate as it did in the mice cells. This striking result contradicted the previous studies that suggested that the animal cells had inherent features that could resist cancer. After this research, scientists are now investigating further into the mechanism to stop cancer in naked mole rats and how their immune systems work with the hope that they can leverage the extreme biology of this species to understand how human bodies work normally. 3. Bowhead Whales Similar to elephants, the humongous bowhead whales, which weigh 120,000 pounds and are 60 feet long, were found to have less cancer rate than humans. A molecular research published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B revealed that cetaceans' tumor-suppressing genes are more developed than humans, and they are rapidly evolving as well. Tumor-suppressing genes are considered some of the most important anti-cancer responses in the body, making sure any damaged DNA will be fixed or damaged cells go through apoptosis, a scientific term for cell death. A team of scientists from Chile, the UK, and the US analyzed the 1,077 tumor-suppressor genes in cetacean ancestors to compare them with those of 15 other mammal species including humans, in the quest for cancer treatment in humans. What they found was shocking. The rate at which these genes are created and lost through mutation is nearly 2.4 times higher in cetaceans than in most other mammals, with filter-feeding species like blue, humpback, and right whales being the highest. This means that they have a high rate of gene mutations, but also high gene duplications at the same time. Scientists also found out that these cetaceans have 71 pairs of genes associated with fighting cancer and 11 pairs associated with longevity. Scientists have identified more than a thousand tumor-suppressing genes in humans, and 99% of them are the same as whales. This is why understanding the whale's genome, especially how whales protect themselves against cancer, could help humans keep cancer, a disease that killed an estimated 10 million people worldwide in 2020, at bay. More research is taking place to unravel not only the cetacean's genes, but also the cancer resistance across species and gain more insights into the molecular mechanism involved in it. Bonus Animal Cancer Facts for You 1. Clams and cockles get contagious cancer called termed neoplasia. The disease causes mollusk circulatory fluid to thicken and turn cloudy as large cancerous cells accumulate. The cells clog up their tissues and eventually will kill the animal. Genomic analysis in 2016 found that the neoplasia cells taken from different mollusks are related to each other, not the individual they reside in. 2. Skin cancer in humans, dogs, and horses has the same genetic changes. Usually, skin cancer is caused by overexposure to UV light, but the cause of mucocell melanoma a rare and poorly understood type of skin cancer is unknown. It can occur on mucosal linings of the sinuses, nose, mouth, vagina, and anus. It's seen across mammal species, including humans, dogs, and horses. 3. Tasmanian devils and dogs can catch cancer too. Researchers have discovered eight different transmissible cancers so far. Two in Tasmanian devils, one in dogs and the rest in bivalve mollusks. The Tasmanian devil cancers are facial tumors, passed between the devils when they bite each other, which they do frequently. Like clam cancer, it hasn't evolved from the mutated cells of the individual it lives in. It's deadly and has pushed the creatures towards extinction, though scientists have recently discovered that the devil's immune system is fighting back and their numbers are stabilizing. And that is a wrap. What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact.